No, that's not bad, you know, they, 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 it's, uh, it's good to have, to have names like that. I'm sure that, I mean, the Caribbean they have loads of different names, like Calypso boys, reggae boys. The thing is, everyone talks about, yeah, yeah, bring new kids in, bring, bring that in, but if they're ready for it, if they're not ready for it, what's the use of just throwing them in? Then you, then you kind of mentally break them down and you don't know. I know I've seen players that you think they're ready for it, and then when you throw them in, you keep throwing them in, it just then next minute they're, they're doing nothing. Mm. Just slowly start bringing players through, and if they're good enough, they'll they'll, they'll shine. Mm. It's not a problem. Um, we've, we've obviously had a little bit of problem, same a bit similar in uh, in England, uh, where you, you kind of you're trying to you're trying to cipher out a few older players and bringing some fresher faces in. If you do it too quick, you can have a you can be quite drastic. Um, but well, you look at uh, Germany. They, I think it took them five years, but they didn't do anything for that five years. But now they obviously are a, a, a major, major force, and I think their oldest players are something like 25, 26. And Spanish, the Spanish at the minute is the is, is the way forward. To be honest with you, everyone was saying the Brazilian with the futsal, yes, start this, start that. You know, it, I think um, only time will tell. You know, I think you've got to give yourself. If, if you've got a uh, if you've got a plan, you've got to give yourself up to that time yeah. to see if it actually bears fruit. But if it doesn't bear fruit, you've, yeah. you've lost a lot yeah, of time. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we, we hope that we've uh, brought our experience to help some of the young players to help um, to give it a little bit of a boost. The league, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, the viewings plus plus not just that, but just. The enjoyment of it as well, you know, seeing, get, trying to bring more fans to, to, to the to the games, mm. trying to get them to enjoy the games. Yeah, I'm quiet. Um, what 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 what, uh, what does it entail? Though? It doesn't really entail too much. I, I, I do a few couple of interviews. I, it's not like I'm going and, and like on a, one of those big dictaphone, what they call the the, the uh, big tunnel things, and trying to get play, trying to get drive around getting. Uh, that would be funny fans, to see. Yeah, that. exactly. Trying to get fans to come to the game, yeah. you know. But uh, no, it's nice. It's quite nice. You know, the fans here have taken to me brilliantly, mm. you know, and I'm enjoying it. So they've, they've been absolutely fantastic. Mm. It, it, to be honest with you, it's it's, it's been a highlight. It's been a, it's been a major highlight for them. You know, uh, they missed him when he's not playing, and you can see that his quality at, at the age that he is, he's still got the max of quality. So much, so much ability. You know, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's so funny, like some of the lads saying, like, he does everything in slow motion, but he still can't get hit. <laughs> that's what the lads You know, he's just so good. Um, but we'd have to take it one step at a time, you know. Um, I believe I could, but uh, it's, it's all about mentally where you are at the time. Mm. You know, uh, I, believe that I, could, I believe I could still play at his, his age, but like I said, it's, it's, it's all about mentally where you are. Yeah. Um, physically, no problem. No, no, I, I believe I could play, I could still be playing in the Premier League, but you know, uh, I'm happy to be here and, and, and I'm still playing, so that's the way. Mm. Uh, Leicester is a massive club, a great club. I'd like to do something back at Leicester. Uh, I don't know what, whether it would be playing, uh, coaching, mm. ambassadorial, mm. anything, you know, I'd like to, because they gave me a chance. Mm. They gave me an opportunity and uh, I'm grateful for that. Uh, you know, people don't understand how big a club Leicester is, mm. um, and how they helped a lot of young players get through. Especially, uh, you know, even even before me, got Julian Johnson, you know, those you know, places uh, to, to like that, that play like that. You know, uh, Richard Smith, uh, Steve Walsh is a massive legend at, uh, at Leicester. You know, one of the biggest biggest players to come out of, mm. out of Leicester, obviously not a Leicester boy, but mm. he's, a, he's a big, big, big Leicester legend. Well, yeah, yeah, he's home, he's home. Mm. Um, I don't live in Leicester, but uh, he's still home. He's still, like uh, anyone says to me, uh, yeah, yeah, where are you from? He's Leicester. So, and, 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 if, I've, and if anyone asks me, uh, players ask me what, what I think about Leicester, as in, as in they, they're looking to sign for Leicester, it's one of the best clubs in the Midlands, mm. facility-wise mm. and traders and fans. Mm. The thing with the, the thing with the championship, it's harder to get out of the championship than to stay in the Premier League. The championship is such a dog fight. Mm. 
You know, it's 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 it's, it's so intense and week in week out, and you play two games a week as well. Mm. You know, and, and it's not two games of mm. like you say, two fifth It's two mm. games of fighting, mm. and you but it takes toll on you. Mm. It's tough. It's tough to get out of that league. Um, I know I know managers that have gone into that league thinking they're going to you know get the teams to be playing some yeah, great football. Mm. At first they do it, and then in the end they just revert to actually let's just get some results mm. because it's, it's a it's a massive fight. Everyone wants to get out of that league. Everyone wants to get to the Premier League. So everyone, Fighting for the life. Okay, you know, for for a small lad, he can jump, <laughs> and he's got this. I don't know, it's a radar or something. Every corner he lands on his head. Um, but now he holds the ball up well. He played. It's weird because he played central midfield and and then played up front, and he was doing, did he did just as good a job in the midfield as he did. It's, it's a sense that you have. And you know where to be when, mm. and you think, all oh, right, then the ball's going to drop you off and just make it. Mm. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just a sense you've got yourself. Mm. I would say someone like Adler. But then you don't know because um, uh, Central Coast are very, uh, they're very compact. They, 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 not, they know their jobs. They, they, they're not, they don't play the prettiest. But you, you, you hardly ever break them down. Mm. That makes mm. successful teams. Mm. And yeah, no, they, they they're very they're very good team. They're very very good players. So you know they they know their jobs and they've they've, po they've obviously worked on it day in day out. So yeah. it's kind of just drilled straight into them. Yeah. It works for them. It gets them results. So you cannot complain with that. So it's hard it's hard to complain when you got a team getting results. It's hard to actually you can pick bones you can pick bones at it because everyone can pick bones at anything. Yeah. But when they got results with it, what can you say? He's got really, really good ability, and um, he's got good co he's got good coaches at Celtic that will help him along. Mm. Uh, the mainstay is is, is you, you won't have a, a lot of time on the ball in, in, in England and in Scotland. Mm. You know, we we play a game that is is very uh, physical and very competitive. Mm. So um, I'm not saying that it's not competitive, yeah. but whether we cannot move mm. around that might take mm. 90 minutes in this mm. one. Mm. But you know, um, like I said, I'm sure he's got the ability, and he's, I'm sure he's got the coaches that will, will, will help him mm. progress into being a successful player in the, in in, uh, okay. in Scotland. Mm. You can only tell them what you know, and, and I hope that they take it in. You know, I'm a big lad, so it's no use him trying to wrestle with me. You know, but there's better ways to get around combating that. Now, if you're playing up against a smaller lad, yeah, you can do that. But you've got to know your opponent and know and who knows who you're playing against. So um, it's just things like that, and, and uh, positional wise, don't get don't get don't get caught out, especially with a quicker player. Mm. Give yourself a little bit of time mm. because if he, if he knocks it past you, mm. he, you, you you're gone. Mm. You know, you've got to know your opponents and know um, uh, and, and know who you yeah, know who you're playing against and know what their strengths strength, strength and weaknesses. Mm. You kick Ronaldo as many times as you want, he'll still get up and take you on. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it, it depends on which striker you're playing against. Yeah. In terms of the um, I, think I think he can go. I think he can go far. He's got he's got the the basis. What's his speed? Mm. Everyone wants speed. Everyone prays for, for, prays for a little bit of pace. And he's got the he's got that. So and the other things that he's probably got to work on is, is, is his final his final ball and his decision making. When to take a man on, when not to take a man, when to cross, when not to cross. It, it comes with experience. Plus, it comes with uh, uh, just knowing the game a little bit and, and uh, analysing your, your, your situation that you're, you you actually in. Mm. Because sometimes you can you can go and cross it, you can you can try and cross the ball, but you've got two players free there that can actually have a shot and goal. Yeah. It's not used to crossing the ball, um, trying to dribble dribble someone. Yeah, he can. He could he could make well, first of all here and um, establish himself here uh, as a player. Um, he's done really well since he's come in. Um, he's had a little bit of ups and downs. But, you know, like he's saying, he's, he's only part time playing part time football, so um, being thrust into that. Uh, sometimes it can be overwhelming. He's taken to it reasonably well, um, but he's, he's having a little bit of a few little dips. But um, that's 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 usual with, with uh, when you're younger, because yeah. you've got the abilities. Left foot's one of the strongest left foot shots in the, in probably probably in the league. So mm. you know he's got that. You, you don't you don't need to worry too much. You know a lot of people worry, and you just play with play play enjoy your. Foot. Mm. You know, if you overthink things, then that's when you know slowly things start to get involved, and you're going away from what you actually want to do.
Exactly. And, uh, so, you know, you, you make a mistake, everyone makes a mistake, don't worry about that. Uh, it's not a problem. <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone gives the ball away. Mm. Don't worry about the next pass that you're going to make sure that you, you, you keep it. Yeah. It's, it's different to... European leagues where you have up and down. Mm. You, you lose a game and you go down and you're going out of that, mm. out of that division. Obviously you've got so many different sports that you're, you're, you're focusing on as well. Whereas in Europe it's kind of football yeah. and that's it. Over there it's just football, 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 football. That just gave us a, a, a little pep talk to say, you know, we, we, we're capable of, of winning games. You know, we've just got to believe in ourselves and, and when we go on that pitch it's you against them. It's man against man, so you know anyone's capable of doing anything. It's, you know the funny thing is I, I I didn't particularly like cricket because it was kind of a sport that as a Caribbean you, everyone watches it. Everyone you have, you have to go here, you have to go there and support them. You have to and you get lugged around England watching them and, and in the end it's just like yeah. Just play football, yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. So cricket wasn't my number one sport.